Hey guys, so I wanted to show you my scent journal. I mentioned it the other day in one of my review videos and I gave you a sneak peek. So since then I've decided that I'm going to um, make a little change. I showed you this journal but I decided to get something a little smaller and something that didn't weigh as much. I love this journal and I'm going to use it for some other things but um, I want to carry it around with me and even though and although this one does um, it fits in my purse um, it's a little cumbersome to take in and out so I went to Michael's yesterday and I got a new journal and here it is and it just says thoughts at the bottom and I paid a dollar fifty for it and um, Michael's had a lot of cute journals to choose from. It was kind of hard for me to choose, but I decided to go with this. I love the colors, and I like the fact that it's lightweight. All of the pages inside are ruled, so it's easy to write on. And um, so what is a scent journal? <laughs> so for me, a scent journal is a place that I can go and write reflective thoughts about what I'm melting, what I'm enjoying, um, things that um, I want to have in my stash permanently um, scents that I have discovered that I love and that I want to you know just continue to have and also my scent journal is my feelings about that those particular scents if it reminded me of a person, place, or thing, um, someone that was close to me, um, reminded me of a place that I may have visited. Um, some Certain scents evoke feelings of, of calmness and, and they, some scents give you more of an uplifting feeling. Um, and, you know, this is where I want to come and just kind of write reflective notes on that. Um, I've always done journaling and so um, this is just another aspect of that but in this case it's about candles that I've burned, wax tarts and cubes that I've melted, um, scented oils, uh, room sprays, anything regarding home fragrance. So I wanted to, I said I was going to be showing this to you periodically uh, when I do my reviews and basically what's going to go in here so let's say I melt a tart and I love it like this is a tart that I truly love and I would order again and again and again so after I've melted that tart I would take the sticker or the decal off of the tart and put it here in this journal and maybe just write a reflective note you know why did I like it so much what notes did I pick up on what um, how did it make me feel you know something like that so um, this is a work in progress and it's not meant to be anything perfect this is just kind of like you know me putting things together and throwing in little doodads on the page and writing things you know that inspire me or or whatever it's it's anything but this is my scent journal so here's a look at it and I always keep the first two pages blank in whatever journal I have and um, here it is so my handwriting is really sloppy so I don't um, you're not going to see a lot of my handwriting on the front of the pages, but in any case, I was going to write across the top, but I decided not to. I decided to just put a sticker up here to make the page pop. And then, um, then right here, you'll see these stickers. These are dried flowers, and these are actually, let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, these are actually, um, what do you call those things? Envelope sealers. So this is what would go on the back of an envelope to make sure it stays closed. 
and they're dry flowers and it's on a um, like a little sticky disc here and I just used it as a sticker and uh, it was part of a stationery set that I received as a gift and I never use the stationery because my handwriting is so sloppy so I just saved the stationery for a special project um, and then this is a post-it note and I just turned it around to angle it and I wrote my scent journal across the middle and then he, this um, butterfly was on the um, was actually on the post-it and um, I got this a pack of post-its from my 99 cent my sorry my dollar store so um, yeah and then I just added some stickers here and this one says discover and this one says observe and then um, I took a decorative piece of paper and I cut it across with the scissors that my daughter used to use when she was little and you know in school doing um, projects art projects and whatnot and I never threw those away and I just you know cut across and gave this paper some texture um, so yeah so that's the first page of my scent journal and like I said you know it's just things that I like colors that I like things that make me feel good um, it's not meant to be anything fancy some people might think it's silly um, but you know this is just me maybe I'm silly whatever <laughs> um, so I will always keep the back um, blank like I would save the back for um, writing my reflective notes or whatever but I wouldn't put you know another like any stickers or anything back there alright um, so this is page two of my journal and I don't know if you can see that so here's a sticker here these are puffy stickers and this one says a door and it has you know detailing here in the background of the sticker and then it has a floral design and then here's another one that says simple joys and it has a picture of a sunflower and the background has like a very antique look to the paper so it's really nice and then I'll come down here here's another one that says tiny pleasures and I thought that was cute so I just put it on the page and then this sticker I really like this one says cherish and it has the design in the background and this also this floral design okay so now right in the middle sorry right in the middle I took a decorative piece of paper and just with a glue stick just glued it to the page okay and let's see and then I took a note card and I glued that to the decorative paper and then I added three of my favorites from Yankee Candle patchouli sage and cinnamon and fresh mint and I won't go into detail now but there's a story behind each of these for me um, and so when I do the reviews of these I'll talk more about it um, and so but there's something special about these and so that's why I decided to put these here because I love these I would purchase them again and again and again and it's funny because I don't have a candle of either of any of these but I'm on the lookout and if I can't find them at Yankee Candle then I'll eBay but um yeah so that's page two and then it's like I said it's a work in progress there's nothing back here but I have some ideas about what page three is going to be about and um, if you guys are into this kind of stuff and want to um, share your scent journal I would love to see it and I do realize that journals are personal so if you're not comfortable um, sharing yours that's absolutely fine um, and if you want to get into making a scent journal you know you can go to Michaels and pick up um, some decals you can go to your 99 cent store that would probably be better because Michaels can be pricey however I did when I went to Michaels yesterday 
there a lot of the things were 40% off the things that I was interested in um, certain sections where they have the scrapbooking um, paper and, and um, little decals and stickers and um, embellishments some of them were 40% off and then I used the 25% coupon so what I'll do after this video I'll upload um, a Michaels haul video so that you can see what I purchased and how much I paid for it and just to kind of give you a guide but um yeah guys that's all I have for now I just wanted you to see this for the first time because I figured I would want to talk a little bit more about it and um but in some of the upcoming reviews, I'll show it and I'll show you what I've done, what I've added to it. Okay, if you have any questions, please leave them below. Um, I hope you like this video. Please rate and comment. And um, I'll be back with more videos. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.